All right, guys, we're going to have to make do with um, this YouTube channel makeshift for now. Um, Google is trying to figure out why they're so overloaded. Um, but here we go. Um, so I'm reposting. I'll also post a blank copy um, if I can, um, or I will just show you a video clip of it um, because nothing's really uploading to Google Class right now besides these videos. Um, but here is the answer key to the review sheet you should have gotten in class. Um, if you didn't, again, that's okay. Um, but let's just go over it really quick um, since you're going to have a probability assessment on Friday. Um, so here are the answers to number one. I'm going to just zoom in into each question. Um, the odds of it landing on an odd number are three out of six. The odds of landing it on a factor of six is 4 out of 6, or 67%. And the odds of it landing on a number um, that's neither prime nor composite is 1 out of 6, or 17%. Basically, what you did when you found any percent, then you place that letter corresponding on the number line. So letter A will go to 50%. Letter B will go between 50% and 75%, since it's 67. Then letter C be between 0 and 25% because it's 17, 17%. All right, which brings us down to example number two. Um, cereal company puts a colored ring in each box of cereal. Um, the colors are listed, and the number of each color is in that. Um, there are a total of 50 cereal boxes, it says right there. First one is probably red. A red is 7 out of 50. Red 7 out of 50. The probability of blue or yellow. So one thing we learned is that when it says or, we add the probabilities. Blue would be 15 out of 50. Yellow is 5 out of 50. You would add the probabilities together and then simplify. Uh, predictions. You will have a question or two on your assessment on Friday about predictions. We want to predict if there are 325 cereal boxes, how many of them contain a green ring. So first, you always write down the actual probability. In this case, the actual probability of a green ring is 8, right there, out of 50. And then you set a proportion. We're trying to estimate or predict how many green rings there should be for 325 cereal boxes. That goes on the bottom. Then you cross-simplify and... Sorry, cross multiply and divide, and you get there should be 52 green rings. And the last question on this page was if you have the word homix, H O M M O C K S, what's the probability of an M or a C? An M, there are two M's, so two out of eight. It says or, so we're adding, plus C. And C, there's only one C, so one out of eight. If I add those probabilities, it is three out of eight. First page, done. I'm going to post this video um, just so it doesn't get too big, and I'll post a different video for the next page.